name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Now we want to race number eight. It's the lucky last, and this closes off everything. All bets. Hopefully, everything is going according to plan with whatever bet you've taken, and you're now waiting for the last race to go. It's over 1,600 meters. It's a Fillies and Mares 73 handicap. Highly competitive race to close it off. And uh, one would think the only way you could be safe is if you have the field in the pick six, but we're not going to be including the field, guys. I've narrowed my selections down to four runners. And uh, first, let's go in numerical order for the pick six. We got our banker in race number seven. That was Eventador. If that runs, that's going to be our banker. Our races prior to that, we managed to narrow selections down. One race, we did go the field in, didn't we? Which was race number seven, six. In this race, we'll be hoping for four runners to get us through if we are running in the exotics. Number one, Belgia. Andre Nell's runner with Keegan DeMello up. The last two starts behind Flashy Katrina and Dawn of a New Day will keep you interested. Straw one as well. And I think very difficult to ignore the chances of this horse. Course and distance, very solid when it comes to the places. Nine starts for six places. Then we move along to number five, Trump My Queen. Now, if I'm looking for an outright choice, at around 28 to 10 at the time of recording, this is going to be the filly that I like. Uh, she's had a few runs now in the province, and you look at her merit rating as well, from an 80 to a 73. And of that 73 last time out, uh, she was just under two lengths behind shape of you, and it was a good run over uh, the 1,600-meter trip. And she'll get the services of Richard Faree, and now that she's come down in the rating, hasn't worn for 428 days, I think she could be ready to put her best foot forward. Number five, Trump, my queen. Then we move along to number seven, Rainwear, Tony Rivelin's runner. Now, here's a horse that I think will keep many, many interested in the pick six because she is um, a specialist on this poly track. She saves the best when she runs on the surface. She's won twice over the course and distance, and they've gone with uh, Apprentice Slangwa claiming the four kgs, and she goes to post with just 52 and a half kgs on her back. She's been off for two months. If she doesn't need the run, I think she'll be highly competitive against this field, number seven, Rainwear, and I'm certain she'll be a popular choice for many in the exotics. And then possibly the horse to beat will be number eight, Maria Carolina, Alison Wright's runner with Muzi Yeni up. She is threatening to win again. And uh, they gave her that break on the 3rd of January. And it was a long layoff. She only got back on the 19th of August. And bang, she showed her well-being. She showed that uh, that break has done a world of good when she was second behind Let's Not Linger. And then she followed up with another second behind Shape of You. And that run was on the 12th of September and if you look at that run behind Shape of You, there wasn't much that separated herself and Trump My Queen, and I don't think there'll be much that will, you know, be to choose between the both again this time round, Shape of You and uh, Trump My Queen. So how are we going to end it off, guys? This is the question. Well, pick six. I'm happy with those four runners. I think. Those four runners will be good enough for the pick six. Belgia, number one. Trump, my queen, number five. Uh, number seven, Rainwear with a nice low weight and the apprentice claving. And number eight, Maria Carolina, who comes from that form line behind shape of you, of course, between herself and Trump, my queen. Now, you may say, Dees, give us one more runner for the pick six. Uh, there are nine runners going to post, so I'm going with the rule, which is four runs. If it was five runners, then I was going to include the field. But if you're looking for one more run in the pick six, consider number three, Lady Macbeth. And then the place accumulator, 
I think these two runners will be good enough. I'm going to stick with that form line behind Shape of You, and that's going to be number five, Trump, my queen, and number eight, Maria Carolina. And hopefully everything goes according to plan, and hopefully everything falls into place. And that is a wrap of our race by race preview for Monday, the 26th of September, where we race at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the poly track. From the entire team at GTV and myself, Dee's Diner, and you have a blast. Find all the winners, and until we meet again, you take care. Salamika. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.